Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm readings. And let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So I've already placed the charms on the tray. Let's see what messages comes through. Okay, so I see something here about this Divine Masculine having huge regrets of something that that you didn't know about, um, or maybe you may have heard something, uh, but you didn't really focus on it, or you didn't really um, think much of it at that time. So this Divine Masculine, what they did was when you two um, separated, so and during, like, like, when you were in a relationship with Divine Masculine and when things started to change or shift in your relationship, this Divine Masculine was talking about you to other people, especially their family members. Masculine was actually doing a lot of things that was creating a lot of uh, confusion in your relationship, made you question uh, how serious they were. Uh, they made you also um, question about what their feelings were or what was the next step and you may have even asked them some questions too and you wanted um, a serious relationship you thought that your relationship was heading in a very serious direction um, you may have even talked about marriage to divine masculine or there was engagement or maybe you two did get married but whatever the case may be this masculine when they were with you, there was something else going on in their mind. Um, I see that emotionally they didn't want to get too close to Divine Feminine. So sometimes when they were with you, Divine Feminine, they did express some form of love, but it wasn't enough to make you see that that was true, genuine love. Like That's why you were questioning whether they were serious or... Um, how serious are they or do they still feel the same way about me or how come they're not expressing as much as before? There were always questions about their feelings, their love for you. And it's because of their actions. It didn't match some some of the things that they would share with you. And it made you wonder, like, is this real? Is this what this divine masculine feels for me or is there something I'm missing? So there were doubts. I see in this reading there were doubts and there were times where there were awkward um, pauses in conversation or even times where you two didn't talk to each other and you brushed it off as like you you took it as like oh maybe they're just busy or maybe like I understand maybe they are taking courses and it's like oh they could have came home maybe they got home late or uh, maybe they did overtime or maybe they're just tired today or it's Friday. I can understand the whole week must have been rough for them. Like you were trying to justify why there was silence between you two. Why is there silence between you two? Like there, I see gaps here in, in communication. And you thought, well, we're already in a serious relationship. We're already together. We're already a couple. It's like, it's okay, I am an understanding person. I can understand if they're busy or they're tired or maybe they fell asleep. Maybe they fell asleep and that's why they are not reading my messages. That's why they didn't answer the phone. Maybe they're just tired. Maybe there's something that they're busy with, right? And it started off with this Divine Masculine actually making those excuses. Like they could have even said something like that. That's how it started. So in the beginning, when you first started dating each other, or you were first in a relationship with each other, right? You had that conversation, that communication. You were communicating on a normal basis, regular basis. But slowly, what this masculine was doing was they started to create a little bit of a distance by giving excuses like, oh, I was... 
at my um my brother-in-law's house like they needed help with their barbecue like it wasn't working or something like that like there's there were these small little stories that were being shared to you to make you believe like that's genuine yeah and maybe it was genuine at the time but they really used it um to create a, a distance in the beginning so say for example on on saturday divine masculine was busy painting their brother-in-law's house but on sunday um they were home but to you when they were talking to you they told you that on sunday they were painting the house but it was actually on saturday so they fibbed a bit they lied a bit they they used it to their advantage to create a little bit of a distance so the day that they had off the day that they were free to talk to you they didn't So it started off that way and I see here that they eased into it so they made you feel like yeah it's genuine and the puzzle pieces they they match like they connect everything connects everything makes sense masculines being honest and there were times when they were being honest because they didn't want you to know that they were creating this distance this it was slowly, it was gradual, so that you would not notice. So I see here that this Divine Masculine, they were doing things that, that you didn't know about and Earlier in your relationship, they were talking about you to their family members. So this could be like, not everybody, I just feel like it's closer, like really close family, like could be their parents, for example. And basically they put everything on you. So they were putting the blame on you. They were making you look like the one who was creating the distance, that was not picking up the phone, that was not having conversations with them so everything that they were doing they were actually saying that as if you were the one that was doing this and this divine masculine basically lied about you made you look like the one who was not devoted to the relationship look like that you were not the one who was taking the relationship seriously they lied to other people about you they made them feel like you were a different character meaning that your your personality the person you are the your decisions your um expressions the way that you talk the way that you share the way that you um handled the relationship it's like they painted a totally different picture of you in front of their family so in the eyes of Divine Masculine's family members, you were the one that created the distance, not them. They, they know they did this, they did it on purpose because they didn't want the family to blame them for anything. Because in this reading, I see that the family did like Divine Feminine. This was the family that accepted Divine Feminine, but Divine Masculine was the one who didn't fully accept the relationship. When things started to move fast, when things um, started to get more into that commitment, and some cases you two did get married, right? It got to the point where they couldn't even pull away. It got too complicated where it's like they did get married to Divine Feminine here. It's like, how can I mess things up at this point? It's like, make Divine Feminine feminine look like the one that they created the distance so they lied about you to the family they painted this image of you that was not true they told the family members that you did this you said that you created the distance you didn't talk to them you didn't want to talk to them anymore you lied to them about this you said you were here but you were over there like all these things that didn't make sense but who are the family members going to listen to? Obviously, they're going to listen to masculine because that's their family, right? So why is this coming up in this reading now? 
is because after all of that, this Divine Masculine regrets what they did. Because now that this Divine Masculine, in this reading, they want to be with Divine Feminine. They went and dated other people, yes. This Masculine dated other people. Those relationships didn't work out. The grass wasn't green, it was brown. <laughs> The grass was not green, it was brown on the other side. And I just had this visual of like, it's just muddy. It was not even grass, it's just muddy. It's just, it's like a swamp, basically. Maskin thought I'll go to the other side, it will be greener, and it was just swamp. So after all those relationships, after all those experiences this Divine Maskin had, it's like, Wow, I had the beautiful relationship. I had this beautiful divine feminine. They were beautiful inside and out. They were perfect. Perfect, you know, wife material. Like they saw you as somebody who's perfect spouse. And it's like they know they blew it. It's like, why did I do it in that way where I basically made divine feminine look like the bad guy? I shouldn't have done that. So when they're feeling regret for what they did to you, too, they're like, now I want to be with Divine Feminine, but I don't know how to because the whole family is like seeing Divine Feminine in a totally different way now. Three, it's like, how can I face Divine Feminine after what I did? Knowing the truth that I was the one who messed it up. It's like they know that they cannot hide that from you because it's eventually going to come out sooner or later. If this masculine plans to return to Divine Feminine without telling Divine Feminine, hey, by the way, like the reason why we separated, the re reason why like it happened the way it did, I really messed things up on purpose. And I told my whole entire family that you did everything. Like you were the one who messed it up. I made you the bad guy. Like how is that going to look, right? So if this masculine decides not to say that and hide it, eventually the family is going to share it with Divine Feminine. Why? Because they're going to believe that that's the truth. Because that's what Divine Masculine told them. Right? They already believe that's the truth. So it's like the moment Masculine says, I want to be with Divine Feminine, it's like, why would you want to go back to that person after everything they said and done to you? Masculine says, no, it's not true. Right? And I see here that this is what's going to happen. Masculine has created a huge mess. It's really hard to get out. So remember that swamp that I mentioned? It's more of like quicksand for this masculine because whatever mess that they created, they can't undo it. It's like the lies have already been told. So now if they go to the family and they say, I'm going back to Divine Feminine. I love Divine Feminine. They're the one for me. They're perfect for me. These family members are going to be like, are you out of your mind? Like, why are you going back to the person who destroyed your relationship? Maskin will be like, no, like, that's not true. They'll be like, you're just saying that because you want to be back with Divine Feminine. But Maskin's like, really? No, it's not true. Like, I made those things up. It was me. These people will not believe Masculine. These family members will not believe Masculine at all. They'll be like, you're just saying that because you want to go back to Divine Feminine here. We're not going to let you do that. And if you do that, we're not going to accept Divine Feminine. So you see, this Masculine has messed up everything. They have, like, they have not left any stone unturned. When it comes to this, they really mess. When they wanted to mess up your relationship, they did it all right. They messed it up to the point where there's, it's very hard for this masculine to fix things up, to clean up the mess that they created. So when, if they go back to Divine Feminine and they tell the truth to Divine Feminine, of course, Divine Feminine is going to push the masculine away. It's not, they're not going to be like, hey, like open arms. It's like, hey, welcome back to Divine Masculine, especially knowing the truth that Masculine was the one who did all that stuff and said things. And I feel like they're not minor things. They're something really deeply, like harsh words were said about Divine Feminine, where it's like you cannot uns 
undo those things. You cannot take those words back. It's already said and done. Like, and this divine feminine will be like, what does your family think about me now? What do they, like, it's embarrassing. I feel like this divine feminine will be like, you said those things about me to your family? Like, what do they think about? No wonder they don't look at me anymore. No wonder they don't want to talk to me anymore. I wondered why. And I feel so sad for this divine feminine because in this reading, Divine Feminine, you had no idea that Masculine did this. You thought that because your separation, that the family was not talking to you because, of course, that's Masculine, that's their family member. You thought, like, they're taking the side of Masculine, that's fine. You're like, okay, they're family, of course, I accept that. But you had no idea that the reason that they were not talking to you at all was because of the things Masculine said. All the lies that were told. It's like the moment that this masculine tells Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine will be like, what does your family think about me? Like, how can I even say hi to them? Like, now I feel embarrassed to even look at them because they think so differently of me, things about me that are not even true. And I feel like this masculine, if they try to hide it from this uh, Divine Feminine to get in a relationship with them again, these family members are going to tell Divine Feminine right away about the things Masculine said to them because they they will be like 100% we don't want Divine Feminine in our life because this is what Divine Feminine did and done in the past but that's not true right it's not true so it's like Divine Feminine is innocent in this one and the family is innocent in this one family is trying to protect Divine Masculine thinking that Divine Feminine did Masculine wrong and Masculine will try to protect divine feminine by hiding the truth from them but it's not going to work because the family is going to come to divine feminine and is going to expose the truth about what divine masculine said so this masculine has created a hum huge mess is there going to be a reunion in this reading i don't see reunion at all to be honest here i see our divine masculine making numerous attempts to restore the connection it's like they're going to keep trying and trying. Like this is a masculine who is like, they know they did something wrong. They know that they cannot take back their words. And they know the damage has been done. But it's like they're going to try their best to get Divine Feminine to forgive them. And they're going to do their best to convince the family that it was Divine Masculine that said and did these things, not Divine Feminine. It's like they're going to try to clear your name. They're going to try to clear your name, Divine Feminine. But I see that so much things has happened where the family might not even believe Divine Masculine is telling the truth now. It's like, no, how do we know you're telling the truth now? Whatever you, that happened before, that was the truth. You're lying to us now because you just want to be with Divine Feminine. And Masculine's like, no, this is the truth, what I'm telling you now. I was wrong in the past. I lied in the past. And the sad part is, Divine Feminine, you had made really, um, you had made some good relationships in Divine Masculine's family side, of, like Masculine's side of the family. Like, you may have been close to Divine Masculine's sibling. You may have been close to Divine Masculine's, like, some of cases, like their grandmother. Like, something about you were close to their grandparent. Like, the, like an older generation, not their parents, like the an older generation like their grandparent or even a great grandparent like somebody who you really were close to and masculine spoiled that it's like even when you look at this grandma now it's like this grandmother just looks away like they turn heads and it's because of what masculine said and it's not because of your separations what they said about you which was not true so now when masculine tries to clear your name it's like I feel like masculine, if it was somebody else, they would give up on trying to convince the family that this is the truth. Because whatever masculine said or did in the past and that lied about you, like when they lied about you, they really dug a huge hole where that hole feels like it's like an endless pit. Where this masculine, it's like, if even if they tried to cover that hole up now, it's like it's impossible because the damage is already done. 
And I see here that they will try as much as they can from their side. Here in this reading, Divine Feminine, it's like they kind of want to stay out of this. If if Masculine tries to do their best to, you know, get in a relationship with them again, but the family is like, you know, still like not like disapproving of the relationship or it's causing some kind of like, um, like say if there's going to be like some kind of thing that is created, like more drama is created. It's like Divine Feminine is like, if this is just going to create more drama between all of us, it's like, I want out. I don't want, like if this is a Divine Feminine who's quite strong, like they're, they're in an energy of a queen. It's like, if they feel like this is just going to, create more drama this divine feminine is going to continue on their spiritual path they see here because not all divine masculines divine feminines will have reunion right not all of them will and in this reading i see here that this divine feminine is quite strong they're like they will be accepting that this thing is not working out and i feel like in this reading there is no reunion like this is a divine masculine the, the damage has been done this masculine has really dug a deep hole like an endless pit where I see her numerous attempts for reunion reconnecting both ways it's like trying to connect to, with divine feminine trying to make things better between divine feminine and the family but there's no um there's no like coming to a agreement there's no agreement here there's no um that bond that bond that was so precious like it's broken and the bond, I mean, like between Divine Feminine and Masculine's family members, like there's something about like that cannot be fixed. And that's the sad part about it. So this is a reading for today. I hope you like my readings. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.